Here we go from Las Vegas, the lone match in the USL Championship this evening. And the streaky El Paso team trying to get a win for the first time in 14 games. We're underway. 25 clearances on the road. Another clean sheet for Benny Diaz, eight on the season. Second in the Western Conference, tied for clean sheets. Now it's in behind and there is an opening goal. Really the first foray in the attacking third all night for El Paso Locomotive and it's Miles Lyons on the score sheets. But it's a fantastic one into that little channel. Matranos tracked the run, just missed it. And that is a comfortable, great finish from Lyons. Just dinked it over the goalkeeper into the back of the net. We see Matrano just misread the ball over the top. Didn't, wasn't able to stop the... We talk many times about the Orange County team that came from nowhere and went on to win the championship. So it's all about the form you go into the playoffs. That's from the edge of the box and it's a good save. A good strike from distance. Pick it out and have a strike, and not a bad one. No, no way you're scoring past Leo. Started in the U.S. Temple University men's soccer team about a decade ago, and then he coached at various clubs as an assistant in Sweden before getting the full-time job. There's a shot and a save from Leo Diaz. Tried to cross it into the path of Josue Gomez. <laughs> Leo Diaz has played that that quickly and that fast. When Bagley's looking for the free kick, the referee's still in the box from the corner. <laughs> you saw him turn on, he's given, a, he's given a yellow card for the foul. Yeah, so there you see it, it's, it's a long ball. It's, a, it's, a it's flicked on here to Mitrano, he clips it in. And it's handled there by Benny Diaz, who goes direct. This is wide open, and it's Leo Diaz from one goalkeeper to the other. And now it's Leo Diaz going for goal. <laughs> Hey, field players take seven minutes to half time. El Paso leading one to nothing. There's a header wide, beautiful delivery from Eric Calvillo. Yeah, and watch that we got it wrong, and it was McHugh with the great pass from midfield for the assist for the, the locomotive. Uh, credit to him on mistake. Here's a turnover, now a chance for Las Vegas. Long distance mm. hit is off the mark from Bagley. Second meeting of the season, El Paso and Las Vegas. A reflected cross that time, it looked like. Corner kick coming to El Paso. They're going to have to keep their, their wits about them and keep being positive. If you sit back on 1 0, you can be in trouble. Calvillo's corner kick is headed and saved quite easily by Leo Diaz. Lightly overhit, but it stays in play. And pulled back by Eric McHugh, the assister on the Opening goal and now a foul in transition and a yellow card is shown. Xander Romero fouled at the midfield strike. Long distance hit off the mark. Quiet first half from Aaron Gomez, but a pretty good strike there. Benny Rios alongside Bagley. Harito's corner kick. Top of the box. Stoffer has a shot blocked. Wish you back. And nearly a huge mistake by Leo Diaz. There is some shouting that it was over the line. Now it's off the crossbar. Calvillo hits the goal frame. Nearly a huge mistake from Leo Diaz, who almost walked it into his own goal. Wish you back. And nearly a Huge mistake by Leo Diaz. There is some shouting that it was over the line. Now it's off the crossbar. Calvillo hits the goal frame. Nearly a huge mistake from Leo Diaz, who almost walked it into his own goal. For a five, and the Celtic had to win it by that, and they, they, they did. And there was question marks asked by the Hearts fans afterwards. And the flicked header on the long throw from Lodge. Long ball over the top. Diaz off his line to challenge. Carroll did well in the end. Just a relentless effort from Aaron Gomez, but a soft header into the hands of Leo Diaz. Leo kind of a soft pass there into traffic. Hard challenge, two guys just going for it there in midfield. Justin Ingram for Las Vegas. And Liam Rose for El Paso. Well-weighted ball here. Good defending. And it's towards the edge of the box. 
Calvio, El Salvador national team player. Second ball falls and it's off the mark from distance. Now the key words there are natural position and obstruction. Because even if your body's, your hand's in a natural position, if you're obstructing the path of the ball inside the box, it's a penalty. Yeah, for me, it was in a kind of weird position. It was at 90 degree angle when it hit him, so. Free kick for El Paso Locomotive. 80th minute of Cashman. Navarro smashes it into the wall, and the wall does its job. I think there was a foul at the beginning. I think his last time he went down, it was a bit easy. Nice ball, good first touch. The flag is down, it's wide. So close from Sanupe, he stayed on side, tried the scoop shot and just off the mark. Bagley has done it all. Throw-ins, corners, free kicks. Now it's Lodge heading central. It fell there to Carlton. He thinks there's a corner. It's wide and it's a goal kick. Yeah, and the Red House underwriting and processing expertise means a fast and reliable loan experience for you. Here is Carlton from midfield, well off the mark. Andrew Carlton. That's a well-weighted ball. Stoffer's there. Stoffer pulls it back. Stoffer with his head up. Return ball for Bagley. His shot is deflected. Knocked down edge of the box and cleared. Vegas did make three changes at halftime, so it doesn't add any stoppage time. Yeah, that's, that's what I was thinking. It did seem like a, a lot of substitutions. That was hard. Donald Myers headed clearance. Leo Diaz for Las Vegas off his line. He's going to go direct here in second half stoppage time. And there's Bush who puts his hand up. He will not argue that foul against Liam Rose. And it's headed wide. Iambila flashed across the face of goal, but couldn't steer it on target. 